remember to get the cardinal number of a set, all we really need to do is to count up the elements of that set. And there are occasions where we need to count the elements in a union, uh, but we need to be careful because in counting the elements of a union, it's not as simple as adding the elements of the two sets. Okay, and you can see that with a Venn diagram. If we have a union of two sets, A and B, then we need to count all of the elements in the region indicated here. But if we count A, then we'll be counting this region. If we count B, then we count this region. And so if we add the cardinal numbers of A and B, then we'll be adding the intersection twice, won't we? We'll be counting that region twice. And so in order to get the correct count for the union, we add the cardinal number for the first set, A, cardinal number for the second set, B, and then we subtract off the count for the intersection. Remember, we must do this to avoid that double count. Okay, and this actually comes up in real-world problems. For example, we have a manufacturer of camping equipment, and this uh, company has purchased two mailing lists intending to send a catalog to everyone on each list. List C has 2,785 names and this is the mailing list for a conservation club. List M has 6,782 names and this is the subscription list for a hunting and fishing magazine. So our camping manufacturer looks at this and says, well, uh, I'm just going to add those two numbers and come up with 9,567 catalogs that I need to send out. What is wrong with this analysis? Okay, I think I can hear some of you out there saying, well, there may be some names which are on both lists, right? And those people who are on both lists will receive two catalogs. So not only is that uh, wasteful, but it's also perhaps annoying to your potential customers.